away my whole life for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Um, whew. Uh, well, welcome. Oh, I hope I want to adjust this. Maybe that was the problem the whole time. We should have adjusted it. Uh, welcome to, uh, I forgot the title. The Suede uh, Rabbit Hole. Yeah. Man, I uh, forgot the right. title. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Jareem the Dream. Got boy over here, Sir Blackness. We over here about to show you how we get down on the Suede Rabbit Hole, y'all. And you know what? We're going to have to start off with introduction, you know. And one of the things we like to do, we just a couple of homies, you know, brother from another mother that just want to just, you know, break that normality, you know, break it up. Because, yeah. we know, normal people would just suck, you know. It's, it's lame. <laughs> and I feel like that you don't need to be sheep. You can do what you want to do, be yeah. how you want to be, and feel how you want to feel, and still be true to yourself. And that's what this is about. Yeah. We're talking about any and everything. Anything, we, yeah. We're talking about conspiracy theory, gameplays. Games coming out. Oh, yeah, we have some game nerds. Everything, Definitely game man. Nerds. So if you got any <coughs> questions, anything y'all want to tell us, ask us, suggest, we're open for it. All ears. Just happy but this is the first time we could meet here. I'm saying. And it's a uh, windy Tuesday. Yeah, windy outside. It's pretty windy. My my dog, man, she was like freaking out. <laughs> Fair enough. But it's a windy Tuesday. We're here on the, the blessed day. I don't, I'm really religious, but you know. Um, but yeah, so we just want to break everything that is. I don't want to say stereotypical because that's not really what we're going for, but we just want to show you who Dream is. <laughs> dream the Dream. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, me, Cameron, Sir Blackness, whatever. Black Knight is how you want to do it. Black Sky on Earth. Whatever. White is Black Guy. How you want to put it? That's me. <laughs> that's me. So we're just going to have a good time. Uh, and yeah, just do what we normally do. So introductions, my friend. All right. So let's start it off like this. So. Personal I like to do, one of my favorite things is I like to play games. I love it. I'm starting to get into, you know, gameplay and stuff like that. Check mm-hmm. me out on Mixer, you know, Nightmare mm-hmm. 65, you know, if you want to check out some gameplays. Trying to find a set schedule time frame where we can get that, give you guys that dedication where you can check out, have fun, get some laughs in, you know, and everything. But I enjoy that, man. I, I like the idea of, like, you know, playing games, and it's part of my culture. What's, you know? what's your game right now? My game right now, bro, yeah. I, I got to say Anthem, man. Like, yeah. even I know even though it, everybody hates on it, but I, I, I feel like, so how I feel about Anthem, man, is that, like, it's got some good and some bad. Personally, in my Still opinion, I think it's, I think for what it's worth and how games are nowadays, it, it's, it's decent. You know, there's a lot of stuff that it can be improved on, you know, besides, like, some of the lagging and stuff like that, Toof. the bugs. Toof. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... So I w- that's top game right now. Exactly. I, 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 would, I, w- I would say, well, not over everything, but that's yeah. the newest game I've been playing so far as of right now. I haven't played the new Division 2. I, I played a little bit of it just to try it out. Yeah, that out. game Greatness. is good, man. That game's yeah. better than the first one. Buggy. Hearing, it's buggy, yeah. but it's good. Hearing the fact that it's like it takes place right after, it's like eight months I was hearing about mm-hmm. after different, the first different incident. Location too, different location, location yeah. Washington, D.C. and shit. You got to just go with, through all the aftermath and everything. That's crazy, man. Like, Tell me how you feel about that game, Division Which one? bro. Division 2. Really? See, like... The division, I have no negative remarks, honestly. But it's crazy that with when you look at different games, like how good the division is, I still see me playing games that are not as good as the division. And like I'm okay with that, yeah. which is weird. You know what I mean? Because I, I still play Anthem. I had high hopes for Anthem. I was an Anthem fanboy, boy. And they just they treated me like a slave. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> It was bad. It was like watching your girl kissing on a cuter dude than you. Oh, so, yeah. bro, that hurt, bro. Yeah, like, why couldn't he be ugly? But, you know, <laughs> uh, and I still play Smite like crazy. That's right. what, four years down the road? I still suck at it. Um, I mean, compared it, to me, yeah. bro, you like. Nah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like right below good in Smite. So, yeah. and that's not good enough. So, I mean, I still suck at that. I still play Smite. I'm on Black Desert like crazy right now. Uh, what else am I playing? I've been me and uh, me and the homies playing Gang Gang Beast Gang yesterday. Beast. The little stupid fifteen dollar indie game, oh, hilarious man. I need yeah, very hilarious. Uh, what else? That's that's pretty. Oh, I play the Switch a lot. Switch. I play the Switch a yeah, lot because yeah. you know I take. Tell me work. about that a little bit, man. Yeah. What you want to know? This, whatever you want to tell me. Oh like, man, like, uh, I know a little bit, but I haven't played. I the think Switch they have, they have a what? Yeah, man, bro, it's in the bag. I brought it. Yeah. It's, it yes. Oh. What are you talking oh, about? Man. But uh, <laughs> the Switch is just perfect because it's like, 
it's the port king. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to play like a, it's perfect for it's pretty much like a, a, a mobile game that yeah. you can play on your phone, but it's better in every aspect. I mean, I got Hulu on there. I got um, YouTube's on there. Um, that's beyond the games, but you know, Smash Brothers, any Mario game, Mario Tennis, see me on the court. Um, any game on there really. Uh, there's a lot of stupid stuff on there. Yeah. A little cheap stupid stuff, but okay. um, I got it. I didn't. You know, the funny thing, I'm not a Zelda fan. At all, so I didn't get Wind Waker, Breath really? of the Wild or whatever. Honestly, bro, do you like Skyrim? Yeah, I think you should get Breath the of the Wild. The first game I bought on the Switch, I've done a little. Was, was Breath of the Wild first yeah. game? First yeah. game I bought. Oh, and so you did? Okay. Yeah, okay. and okay. I was cool. like, oh, okay, cool. I got the game that everyone's going crazy for, and I played it for like two hours. I was like, yeah, this ain't for me. What? Yeah, I traded it in. What? Yeah, that's crazy, okay. right? Yeah. So most of the games I I started buying digital now, so I can't trade in, but I bought it then. So right. Um, Splatoon's is really good. That threw me off. Uh. But I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors. I like Dynasty Warriors. I'm a Dynasty Warriors fan. Ooh, so. ooh. That game is fire. Yeah, I love so, Fire so, yeah. um, But yeah, the Switch is just, it's just, it's perfect because it's handheld. You can put it in, the, you know, everybody knows what the Switch does. But it, it, for me, like grab and go stuff. But you know, it's weird being like 31 and then like all of a sudden just pulling out like Switch slash Game Boy thing out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't think so at all. You don't think so? I Maybe so. I care too much. I, I, Maybe I, I care too much. <laughs> yeah, just because I'm like, like I'm gonna play the Switch right now, but there's too many eyes around. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. Yeah, so. I feel. I mean, I think, man, the way I see it, bro, because honestly, I used to be the guy that has a lot of you know games all in the car. Mm. I used to bring my Vita with me everywhere, bro, or my PSP oh, or my 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like cause it's it's convenient. And honestly, it's very convenient, I, yeah. I I've, the, the, the way I see about it is that we have a phone, right? Yeah. And I low key want to keep my phone simple. I use it for like my number of resources: texting, music, I internet. Wish. You know, I got like, so many games and, on my phone, and, like a three year old child. I, or something. No, you good? <laughs> and that's cool, but like personally, I just feel like I prefer to keep it for the game for the game. Like I have yeah. no issue with you know with smartphones. I think what they're doing is great. They, they, all their you know what they got going on is kind of rambling, but I will say that I prefer to keep it to the console for me. Oh no, the switch like, is perfect, bro. And plus, like the way I see it too is that. The fact that you could take Nintendo anywhere, like mm-hmm. the actual console, I feel mm-hmm. like it's a really a step in the direction. I know when it came to like like Nintendo, like I was doing some reviews on that one too, and what happened was they were saying that the N Switch was their last attempt. That was their last attempt, and if they mm-hmm. would have messed it, this would have bombed. Because like what happened was like the the Wii trash. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I, I see the Wii and the Wii U was a prototype for the Switch. I feel like what happened. I feel like the Wii was was an attempt to kind of step into the the the, the, the right step out of its norm because it was more of like motion sensor. That's what I think yeah, the Wii yeah. was. I mean, the Switch is still motion sensor. So. And then and then the Wii U. I feel like Wii U was like okay, let's try to take it away from the console a little bit. That's what mm-hmm. it was. And like the issue with that was that like the Wii U was competing with the 3DS, and 3DS yeah. was actually performing better. Like it, it if is. you look it's at the ratings, it was, it was yeah. And now and they a, got, another thing about 3DS is like. You can take it with you. Exactly. You know, switch, you got to be at home yes. with the thing in your hand. Yeah. The best thing about the Switch is when you're at home, you can dock it. Because, I, I mean, if I'm at home, nine out of ten times it's docked if I'm going to play something. Right. Why would I play it in my hands if I don't have to? So, yeah, I see where you're going with that. But you kind of went off, though. Oh, what yeah. else about you yeah. besides games, man? What okay, else, what, what else I mean, is it? Uh, I love film, man. Yeah. I've loved film a long, for a long time. Something I really cared about, I was passionate. I would say my inspiration was Spike Lee and Jackie Chan, man. Those two. Yo, that's and, t- <laughs> and honestly, man, like, like I feel like for me, like the reason why I was pumped about Jackie Chan was I just love the fact that he would. He was all about comedy, romance. Mm-hmm. He was also a musician. He sings too, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he actually has music. You should look it up. He's, he used to sing at one point, bro. What do you mean? Like yeah, what kind of like, what kind he, of music? Like, was it? Well, of course, his you know his native language, right. but. But like just soft, smooth music, you know. He actually, for real? Like, yeah, I'm not even joking. Like he look it up, bro. I'm gonna look at <laughs> Jackie Chan. Yeah. Like you know, your like, songs. Uh, I've listened to a couple more over the years, but like really? not by heart. No, okay. I was I was just more blown away that he actually Same, music. Yeah. And honestly, what made me do that was because like in Rush Hour Two, when him and Chris Tucker were singing, Jackie Chan had a nice voice, and I was like, hmm, interesting. When I looked I up, I would have never thought twice he, about that. He scene. actually sung at one point, so I was like, that's crazy, you know. But. It was the fact that he, I just love the fact that he was goofy, but he also kicked the ass too on camera, you know? Yeah. I, I love that shit. And yeah. he does his own stunts. I mean, he he'll do no fucks. He worked at yeah. everything. And he I got remember to the, the first you know? Jackie Chan movie I seen, 
like remembering when I was a kid, Rubble in the Bronx. Rubble in the Bronx, yeah. That's the first. I think that's one of his first big ones in America, right? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, Drunken Nasher was something. That I think was that close. that came out after Rumble in the Bronx, but it was shot before. Like I think it was over, over, you know, overseas before yeah. it came to America. So yeah. I think his first. I, I could be talking outside of my ass. I don't know, but I think his first big one in America was Rumble in the Bronx. Bronx. Not his first shot movie, but his big one. Yeah. But that was still dubbed. You know what I mean? Because that that they weren't speaking English in that movie at all. Yeah. But that's the first time at the end of the scenes I can remember seeing like this nigga did his own stunts the whole time. Yeah, he he broke his leg yeah. and shit. He was wilding, fuck. Bro, like, he, what? he he literally fell off a high area. He he had to get a metal plate in his head and everything, bro. Just that and and, crazy. and then he got back up. And he did the stunt again. Yeah, like yeah. um okay. super super uh, uh police for, no it was super super cop. I think okay. Or, so or police, super cop. Yeah. He in that first movie, the first one, he literally fell from that distance. He fell from there. And they put the shit in the, and they mid, put in the movie, video. bro. Yeah. Like, That's crazy. Like, A1 Project, same thing. The stuff that happened, all the stuff that happened to him in that one, just they put it in the movie, all that happened. That's dope. Yeah. I mean, because like, if you're going to do it and hurt yourself, yeah. roll it. Do what it loves. Uh, the shit I get, going, you know what I'm saying? Because I hurt myself for putting it in there. Right. And I feel it. Other thing, the, and then the whole Spike Lee thing was the fact that it was something about the fact that, like, do the right thing, that stuff for me. Because... He didn't just direct it. He also written and he acted it, yeah, and, and that and yeah. that blew my mind because I was like, if he really put all that dedication and time to come up with a story, a compelling good story mm-hmm. from beginning to end, you know what I'm saying, with good characters, good story that just hit home when it came yeah, to the com- all the characters was good. Well, yeah. I mean, like when it, when you yeah, think about they're it, like, memorable. they're memorable, they're memorable, but I mean, like. Just the whole storyline, it, it hit home when it came to like yeah, our environment, yeah, you know, our yeah, situation, yeah. our the, the neighborhood they lived in, you know, the struggle they went through in their time frame and their era that they had to deal with, you know, when it came to racism and all that stuff. It kind of gave you an idea of like, how people are from different sides of different Well, I mean, I, it's going to touch on you easier because, like, you know, where we from. You know exactly. Like, it was exactly. for us. It wasn't like watching uh, Little House on the Prairie, like, oh, that's me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not no. me. Stop and it just, I just like, so I just love the fact that he, he, he knew he just kind of like he took his role and he just he ran, ran with it, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and it, it did good. It, it really did good in the box office. He, he profited. From uh, that. well, did it do? Good? I've been seeing that. That's why I need more education. I don't know how good it did, but I know it's one of those staple movies. It did. It did as good. As an African American or it, a black it did dude, good. like he, you gotta be like, he, yeah. he, he made money off that. That's what's up. Like, I, I, I respect Spike Lee. Shit, I do. And, and yeah. I just yeah. And so that's really got me started. And then like, and then later on, like you know, like when I was growing up, you know, I always just mess with cameras and stuff like that. And just like, oh, I mean, let me take the picture. I'll do it. You know, let me go oh, forward. Okay. And then like when my brother he started high school and shit, that's when I just really see my dad with his JVC mm. camera. You know, and I, I, back then, you know, before they had the SD card, we had it literally just VHS cassette tape. So you had to put that uh, in there. Yeah, then you yeah. record it, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I literally would go above my dad at the point. He was like, "Oh, you know, I want to see what you're doing." He let me come upstairs finally because we would go up to the the, the, the second floor, you mm-hmm. know, where the, the people were announcing and watching the game and stuff like that. Oh, okay, that's what's and up. We would yeah, shoot yeah, from yeah. down there, and so eventually he showed me what he was doing. To the point I was like, "Hey, can I try it? Can I do it?" Just yeah. kept bugging and kept bugging. And eventually that he was like, birth, man. "He was like, yo, like, go ahead, yeah, like, go it. ahead and do this." So he it started out just literally from like. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Can you just record real quick? You just, <laughs> like literally, oh, you you got this right? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, go ahead. You know what? You know what you're looking for. You know what you shoot for. Get get the highlight and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, when to zoom in, zoom out. And I just kind of just that just stuck to me. You know that that just that really just stuck to me, and just it never left me. I never left that site. And then just you know life happens, and just I feel like when stuff happens in life, bro, it makes you really think about what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like things happen for a reason. You know, you go through struggle not to go through struggle, but because I feel like you go through it just because you're not at where you need to be. We go through this to be black. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that too. And <laughs> but, you're going to struggle but, to be black. But, but I feel like just just anybody in general, I think a lot of stuff we do go through is because we, we don't deep in the situation, so therefore life is tested. It's just a story, you feel you me? Know? You got to keep it interesting. Exactly. So we got video games, film. What else? Oh, what else? Yeah. Oh, so as the world may, may well, they don't know, but y'all about to know. So I do cultivation. I love it. It's great. It's a great experience. He and grows weed plants for you all. Exactly. Don't know. Yes. Exactly. He's doing God's and, hard work. <laughs> and the cool thing about that, man, is yeah. the fact that, like, I just, just being a person, I just started consuming it, you know, mm-hmm. I started doing it. Like, I started in 2014, bro. Yeah, it's funny. Right, I'm going to tell the story. And, 
Like, Dream was completely against <laughs> smoking. He I was against it. And, and the thing was, for me, it, was, it wasn't it was the fact that, like, I didn't think it was cool or anything. It wasn't like, I mean, people, they they, 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 they judge, they assume, oh, you're too good for that, huh? I mean, no, nah, it's not that. Nah, it just, nah, nah. I didn't really care for it. I, I know how my mind works and goes, and I guess, I mean, the, my anxiety and fear was that if I do it, it might take me to a place that I don't I don't want to go. What? But if anything, bro, bro this ain't hair on. I, I know, <laughs> I, but hey, man, you listen to people, they I get tell you, you the stuff. I get you. Oh, you, you, stuff. you were, we were brought up with dare, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, and I, and the thing was, bro, was yeah. that I was a special one. We didn't even take dare. Really? Yeah. Bro, dare was like, don't do drugs. I know yeah. about, I know yeah, about nah. dare, but I was like, bro, like they, they literally like, and we, we make jokes like they, they didn't care. They, they didn't get they gave us drug, they gave us real and shit. So that's technically a drug in the city. No, it's so not no it technically. Was, it's a goddamn it, it drug. drug. Yeah. You know, so, so it's like, come yeah, on, shit. bro. Like, so it's it's factory way, made. I, I guess. I guess you think about it. It's they they want to keep the kids. Yeah, they they want to keep them. They want to get their money. So they didn't, yeah. didn't educate us, and we had to kind of like I guess find out for ourselves. And so what what made you that final day? Like fuck it, I'm about to. I to smoke this Man, weed. I I had some some stuff going on in my life, bro. Yeah. And after that happened, I was like, "What's the worst that could happen?" Yeah. And after that point, it just it just took my mind, and I just became more optimistic, bro. I just bro, you got that I, sauce, I, man. I, I stepped out of my circle, and got I, that I sauce. and honestly, what it was is that I just needed to take a step back at everything, you know. Yeah. And just take a look at it from a different perspective for once. And once I did that and just reflect on myself and everything, bro, everything changed. You know, I started going to school. Yeah, yeah. Year I finished. That's right, that's and right. That, yeah. I finally got a different job. You yeah. Know, so I could change them. So every, so every year, it's been, it's been, it's been a progression. It's been an improvement. improvement. Yeah, and that's growth. what I love. It's just, exactly. And that's yeah. the whole point. Like, I believe, like, like I, I might write a book. Damn, bro. you know what, bro? It. I remember that, that stage where you were just kind of like in that rut. Yeah, like this man. is dream. This is it. But yeah, you did grow a lot. In the, I, I just shit. I want to say changing. about two years. It yeah. was like a huge growth. And then grew his hair out. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just straight up. Just yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So but yeah, absolutely. So a lot of happened. But I would say like just me starting out and doing that and, yeah. and, and like just just seeing how that's going, man. Just and then actually getting in the room and seeing it from start to finish, man, it's a beautiful experience. You really watching, is. Watching birth, man. Watching it. Literally watching it all day, every day for like months. So what's your end. next step with that? You want to continue with this? So you think this is just like a, a chapter in your book before you move on? I feel like the whole growing thing is is a chapter, but honestly, bro, one of my things I took out of it is that I wanted to be able to get to a point where I can just have my own stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. because you think about it, everything we do in life, every job you do is technically a trade. Technically, in a sense, we're mercenaries. We're just not killing nobody. When you think about Bro, it, what because the fuck? because Hold on. let's pause. I, I, I know. I need. Cra- I need. A, I need to <laughs> take a breath on that. I know. It's, it's crazy. What you said it's too. crazy, but it's we're mercenaries, but we're not killing nobody. Yeah. Because you think about it, you're a nah. mercenary, you're gun for hire, right? Nigga, I'm not disagreeing with it's you. Like, and, and that's that shit just fucked my mind and, right and that, now. And yeah. that's the thing. And it's like, you're learning a trade. You're learning a trade is what are you going to do with it? You know, when you go, yeah. and for example, I worked in, at, you know, at, I'll say it. I worked in a retail job, you know, mm-hmm. for six years. And honestly, the thing I, I've learned, when you think about it, besides the bare bones of being neat and cleanliness and presentation, you learn, like, the whole merchandise you mm-hmm. learn like stock and you Logistics learn inventory you shit. learn all the stuff behind it. and it's, it's what do you do with that afterwards you know mm-hmm. and that's what it is but i feel like doing this is a lot more better because like not everybody know how to do it yeah you can right. do yeah. it yeah. Yeah, yeah you can learn but it's the fact that i'm in the industry i understand the concept from a profession and, and the thing about it is that like it's not just the oh, i got one two but we got thousands of plants in a room just every day mm. you know we have a good amount of plants in it, and, and so we're watching every day. We're making sure all of them are healthy, fed. And it's like, if that's I crazy. was to just take that and make it to a smaller scale, that's nothing. When you think about it. Mean, because you do it. You feel me? Like, exactly. you say, Cam, yeah. grow four plants and let them die. Three of them gone. Three of them gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. yeah I feel you. Yeah. But the fact that I've been doing it for two years, like, I'm starting to understand and get the, the you know, the idea behind it and yeah. how it works. You got the and training like now. That. And, and you got exactly. The training. So I can take it. And honestly, one of my things about it was that. If I can learn this, learn, learn this trade and get and, and just and make my own stuff, and I don't have to buy it no more, mm. that's a win for me. Yeah. Because if I don't, if I can get it myself, I know where it's coming from. I know mm-hmm. how to do mm-hmm. it. I know got what the it back means. end now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that I know all those things, it just makes it so much easier for me to just say, if someone asks me, oh, oh, why does it have pesticide? No, it doesn't. It has no pesticide. 
I don't. Oh, so I you, get you it. Take I get it. Exactly. Work. I See, get it. See, this is why I love that we're doing this because yeah. you're a very passionate dude, and I'm a very fucking dude. So this is gonna be <laughs> perfect. This is gonna be perfect. So, yeah. uh, on top of that, why why are you doing the podcast? Like what podcast yeah. because it it honestly goes into production. I love production. Yeah. You know, fair. and honestly, I I love to talk to people. I love to talk. Something I never really do a lot, and now I'm taking advantage of that chance. Oh, you gonna be heard, it. exactly. You gonna be heard. I feel. Uh, like. I want to be talking. I want the world to hear my voice finally. And I'm God gonna let, let the world know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and and this is for all the ones out there that that doesn't feel like they have a voice. You know, I want them to believe they have a voice because like, everyone does. Everybody is important in life, yeah. and everybody needs to. Like, and even the people who don't feel important, they are important. Yeah. Even Donald See, this is, this is good. I know. No. I, 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 I you know. know can't, I, I, I can't say he's not important because, like it or not, the nigga's the president. Yeah. You know? and, and, so, even, yeah. And, and honestly, it's not even like a sense of him being president. It's a, he's still a human being regardless. Yeah. He's still somebody. He has his own life, his own yeah. world. You know what I'm saying? We're just not a part of it. So it's just I mean, that. Technically, we're a part of it. I mean, we are, yeah. but I mean, compare, I, I guess it, it would be like more of an ant on a mountain at that point because it's just so many of us here yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah. this big old he doesn't he ain't big so so yeah he don't want no smoke I mean, right <laughs> <laughs> hey but you know what though I was talking uh, the other day and I was like yo crazy enough the if you take you watch The Office not really bro fuck it's not going to get pertain to you though but anyway <laughs> for anyone who does watch The Office Michael Scott the boss the nigga the asshole whatever like that's Donald Trump like his character is Donald Trump full and full and it's only funny because it's fictional. Yeah. Because if you think if the, the shit Donald Trump says or does and it didn't happen in real life, that shit's low-key hilarious. Right. Unfortunately, it is real life, but I'm not getting into politics. I don't really care that much. And I don't know that much about it. Just start shooting off heat like that anyway. But, so you, you got video games, film, production, uh, cultivating. I, I love the fact you call it cultivating instead of like, I grow weed. Yeah. Because I'm ignorant of shit towards the fact. I'm like, this ain't grow weed. Yeah, so, Cultivation and then um, uh, the podcast. So all those three steps got you here. Yeah. I would have. Can I, you good? Can I? Can yeah. I, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. Ahead, yeah. It's time so, to tell you about <laughs> about you. Ain't much. Ain't much to know. Ain't hey. much to know. Uh, me, we both got into video games. I think that's really like the main connection we had. I don't say it like that. Pause. The main connection we had was with video games. Besides the parties we used to throw. Um, yeah. So video games. Uh, I cook. Yeah, man. Tell us about the cooking. Like, what? Like, what made you like? Nigga, be eating, bro. Decide, decide to get involved. Nah, here, nah, here's what happened. Like, my pops was actually really good at baking and cooking when we were growing up. Actually, my mom too, but it took my mom a while to get. You know, she makes like three things good. Okay. My dad just cooked. He cooked his ass off. He was more of a baker. <laughs> and I remember, um, I was in. Um, man, it's not too long ago, like maybe ten years ago. Oof. Oh. Um, I was cooking, uh, and then um, the girl that I was with at the time, her sister was like, oh, can you make me some food? And I made her something real simple, like mac and cheese, grilled cheese shit. Nothing crazy. But like, I guess the way I did it, she was like, yo, this is fire. You should start cooking. So I started like making my own recipes and shit, and then I went to school for it. And then like, I just don't want to cook other people's shit. Like, you feel me? Like, if, I, if you were like, Cam, cook this, and this is the way you got to cook it. I'd be like, nah, I want to just cook my shit. Because you see me in the kitchen when I was making yeah. the wings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you put me in that. that Bruh, that, that, that spicy that, teriyaki. That, that smokehouse. Fire. That, that, yeah. Woo. So, I mean, I just want to, I mean, I'm yeah. not, I'm nowhere near a professional or amazing at it or making gourmet meals and shit like that. I just like to cook food that I like to eat. But then, right. you know, I started, I stopped actually uh, cooking. I don't really eat red meat anymore. Okay. I don't even know why. I just think I'll try not to die tomorrow type shit. No, you're good. Yeah, so I'm I'm re- really leaning towards the pescatarian, but the niggas still eat chicken. So it's like a pescatarian plus some. Um, it's not really a health thing. It's just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I felt better, you know, really, because I was eating a lot of red meat and getting sluggish and shit. Yeah. You feel better if you stop eating all that bullshit. But, yeah, That's I could. True. And, I, you know, it's actually therapeutic when I get in the kitchen, put my headphones in, you know, I'm grabbing up to my music, and then, like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing when I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I don't have a plan like, oh, I'm going to use like three quarts of sugar. No, I'm in there just, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever I'm feeling, it's, a, it's, yeah. it's like if you, as like a musician, you don't know, you know the, the song you're playing, but you don't know what's going to happen in between those solos right. and those different like upbeats or you want to change right. it a little bit. So I couldn't make 
like a musician, you really couldn't make the same solo twice. You probably could, but you probably wouldn't. Right. So same thing with cooking. When I'm in there, like, oh, I'll put a little extra this in this time, or this time I made the recipe this different. But that's on me. Right. So that's my so therapy. Pretty much like a, like a freestyle. Like it's you, free, you, every you time. Yeah, it's like a freestyle. And, and that's cool. It's like a freestyle. Yeah. yeah. So um, besides that, like I play video games. Like I've been playing games. If I've done anything in my life long, <laughs> I like, and it's crazy when I think about this. Like, damn, bro, I'm 31. I'm playing games since I was like, I'm gonna say four. So, like, damn, you same been, here, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm real, saying. Real. So it's like you thought 20 plus years, 25 plus years of doing. So I can't say that about anything else besides breathing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or walking. You know, whatever. But I can't say I've done anything else that dedicated for that long. And plus, video games is a shit, man. Like, yeah, man. escape in reality for a minute. I ain't one of the people that want to shoot up the school or nothing like that. So that's cool. Um, you get, I mean, you meet great people. Right. Yeah. There's a there's very toxic world out there, but there's yeah. some really good people out there. So, um, Evo coming up. Heck yeah. We'll be there. Yeah, we going. We be there. Going down. We went last that year. Shit. Yeah, hell yeah. And I gotta tell you, man, just being up there for the first time last year was a really bad experience, man. Just right, it's seeing breathtaking. like the tournament, all yeah. that stuff, and I actually went to GameWorks. Do for that pre trial, that yeah. pre test, and that was a good little way to yeah. break me in and give me the idea with the whole competition. But still, it's nothing compared to Evo. Nothing compared to Evo, man. Nothing like yeah. even if you're not competing, bro. It's just just being there around the people, around the vendors, the, the huge ass screens yeah. everywhere. It was just you know that's my Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want shit for my birthday. Yeah. I don't want shit for Christmas. I just want to go to Evo. Yeah. That's where I got my fight stick from. The three that's yeah. three hundred dollars, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was last tight, bro. You, that's an investment, still right? Use there. That's, that's an investment, still use it. That's the investment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I was like, once you master that, bro, I'm pretty you're gonna no, be like just, I'm there. You'll be God mode, bro. I'm there, I'm there <laughs> bro. Like, I'm there. You just, so so what what games are you gonna try to like jump into on Evo this year? If this year I'm, of course I'm going for Tekken seven. So I gotta get back on I gotta get the new update, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so you didn't play like, with the new people you didn't so play with Negan. I haven't right? played with the new characters, bro. Lord Jesus. I, I I will I will be honest with you, I was very disappointed in Tekken pulling that stunt with the whole added new characters for more money. Why? Why? Why would you have a characters in a game that's always been canned to the story, okay? And then you don't put them in the game, right? Mm -hmm. And you add them in the game later mm -hmm. and you charge us for it. You want to know the real reason? Like, of course, it's microtransactions. Well, no, it's not that. I'm going to just say it's bread. For, and plus, it's longevity. You want these people to keep working on these games, they got to get paid for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's longevity. So you want to pay your staff. You want to keep the game working good because there's always balances and tweaking. So someone's always in the background. You know, you edit. So yeah. someone's always in the background doing stuff. So yeah. I don't agree with how they do some of the stuff, um, but I definitely understand business-wise. I feel like, What's going on? personally, bro, like, and I guess I can kind of make a statement to this, and this is just me just kind of dabbling a little bit in production on it. Mm -hmm. My thing with about it is that if they feel that way, then they should just be upfront about it. Like, oh. if, if, and I feel like they should, because no. cause the thing about it is that, like, why would you under budget for something? Well, no. just, you, you should never. They you didn't under budget. They, man, they, still, they still got to fill their pockets. They, they, I get here's it. what I'm saying, bro. Like, think it's something as simple as the tooth fairy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to sell that lie. Like, oh, you're too full. I'm going to give you a quarter. Oh, you play the game, nigga. I'll add you a character. It's the, same, it's the same concept. Like, I get it. It's pretty much the whole Christmas. You know what I'm saying? We're going to, you're good. You get you get gifts. You're probably not going to be good. You probably still get gifts. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just how it goes. So it's like they got to save the dream. And then they don't want to make it seem like, oh, we're not done with the game or, oh, we're not finished. Because one thing that game companies run into now is that they're putting out unfinished games and they're, Ubisoft is good for it, but Ubisoft makes amazing games after it's been out for a year. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. We're going through the whole Anthem situation. That game was not finished. No, no. And honestly, bro, like, it's still not fact, finished. The fact that they're 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 supposedly not charging nobody for anything that mm. worries me. Why? Because like we're at a point where now we're talking about like you know. DLC and all that shit. It's still microtransactions. And, and, you know, yeah, the store, I, I, like I looked at the, the revenue, they, they revenue over $2 million in, in yeah. the microtransactions, an optional Well, I guess, check, I guess, well, I guess, what, are they like, exceeding what they expected to make? No, I, they're probably, ex they probably sold more than they were expecting, but uh, they probably, they're not exceeding it. You know I, feel, I feel like if, if they hit their, their quota mark, mm -hmm. then yeah, but if not hitting their quota mark, their quota was probably planned around the, the DLC, you know, not not necessarily the paid DLC, but like we're gonna sell this much to make to to survive this long. But with their 
microtransactions making two mil in the first two weeks. Like I didn't buy not one so, thing like, in that store. Somebody with people. I, I mean, I guess. I didn't buy you want the equipment? I didn't, you know, yeah. Because I mean, I'll be real. Like, it it is pretty tough and difficult to like you know get money to go buy the stuff because you, you have to go through so much to grind mm. to get. Not the really. Money. That's I what the game so is though. But my thing is, if you're gonna make a game grindy and then you complain about the grind. You probably shouldn't play a grindy game, right? But I mean, just more of like the fact that like we you you have the currency, right? You get mm-hmm. the currency. I feel like for them, what they're offering for like the, the like the stuff you can get, mm-hmm. it's not really worth. No, it's not it at all. Like, it doesn't have to be worth it because someone's gonna buy it. Yeah, and that, Which is that, true. that's what it comes down to. Yeah, and it's it. the proof in the pudding because people are buying it. I've not spent one supply and demand, extra. Man. I didn't even buy the the collector. Normally, I'm big on buying like the. the I honestly Rolex. thought about it too. I, I was gonna get that too, but I didn't. But I then didn't I looked at it and okay. I was like, mm, no. And that's another thing that's crazy that I have to look at and say, well, is your season pass? No season pass. I'm not buying it. So, I've been uh, I guess brainwashing to believing the season pass is a good thing. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. The game should just come out complete, but then we would have to wait. Five years after their games announced. But honestly, yeah. I feel like the way games are, man, I would be willing to wait for that. Yeah, you would. I would. Nah, because here's the thing: like, it's kind of like a because supply, it's supply and demand. Because the reason why I feel like the reason why I said I'd wait is because this is how I see it. So if you come up with a full complete game, I would. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that part out. That's cool. We can leave it in there. That's cool. <laughs> But my, here's my thing. So, like, <clears throat> when you're talking about a game, let's, let's keep using Anthem, even though I don't want to beat a dead horse. I like the game, period. Of course. But I do, too. if but you're talking about Anthem, the game that needs this many fixes, but they're not making the revenue, now you're going to run out of money for the games now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm worried about. Because at this point, it's like we already spent 60 bucks in the game, right? Yeah, but we got so, the game already. Yeah, but at the, so, at the same point, what if they don't fix? Like, like, I guess my concern at this point would be something along the lines of, like, Andromeda. Because they just dropped that game. They, just, they, they dropped it for they, Anthem. I know, but yeah. the fact, but the fact they dropped it for Anthem, yeah. they gotta see, they gotta see it through. Though. No, no, because you know this is like their opinion wise. I have no facts on this. This is it for them. If they don't make this game successful, exactly. like Bioware is gonna close. But if exactly. they kept sticking with Andromeda, or sticking with the Mass Effect in in general, since they already got that bad taste in the blood from everybody else, it was gonna fail anyway. They needed something like Anthem to save them so they could, in the future, make another Mass Effect, make another Dragon Age. Because the Dragon Age that came out with, I thought was good, but it didn't do too well. Andromeda, I thought was good, but it didn't do too well. Yeah. So you got this other game that it has to be a new IP because the IPs that you guys were famous for are failing. So they needed this. Yeah. They needed to, like, yo, we got to take everything we got and put it to Anthem. And it still, at this point, isn't enough. But if they were to wait until Anthem was finished... Like completely finished all the strongholds, all the stuff you wanted to add, all the vinyls, all the skins, all the masterworks, all the balance. If they waited to that, they never would have came out with the game because they would have lost all the money before it got there. So they had to make their money to keep their doors open. Yeah. And it's like I said, this is me speculating. I don't have any facts. No, on if it. anything, it, it, it makes it, sense. It, 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 yeah. it, it makes sense, but it makes sense more wise with like of. We're trying to stay alive. We're trying to eat. At yeah, the end of the day. you gotta that, that, eat. And, and I, I get yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta eat. But I, at the same time, I just really just feel like at that point, you really gotta you gotta budget. You have to come up with a proper. There's, I feel like come you up, can't if budget you come up, if you don't got the bread, fam. Like I you understand know what I'm saying? that, but I, I feel like I guess it's more of like I don't really know too much about that type of world. But I mm-hmm. feel like just and like I said, I really just feel like just from a productive perspective. Like, I feel like for example, so like when you when when like when people do movies, right? You have to come up with a budget. Mm-hmm. Okay, you go to investors, you go to people all over the world, mm-hmm. hey, start movie, check it out. This is when they have it in, whatever. And people have an option of deciding to I think funding is different money. between the two, though. I, I, I you feel like it is in a sense, yeah, it, it is, but be. I feel like at the same time, why well, if that's the case, then they should go on a GoFundMe, go a go on a, yeah, a, a, a Kickstart. A Kickstart, do you know how bad that's been for games? They try to get Kickstarts and got tons of money and they come out with shit games, they get shitted on worse. The game's like Anthem, bro. I, and I it's bet, not it, but it, I feel it's like, not an but option. I, Here's my I, thing with Anthem. When you're coming out with a game <clears throat> that big, the best part about Anthem is the core gameplay. So we can survive on the core gameplay while you fix the game. Yes, there's bugs, yes, there's lags, fog walls, all the shit we had to deal with. But it's like, if you're going to keep putting down the developers, because you play the game because the core gameplay. And that's why I get mad at people. It's like, oh, Anthem sucks. Like, you, Did you play it? Did you have fun? Yeah, there's bugs, 
I get it. But the core gameplay is what keeps pretty much you and me coming back. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got to grind a little bit, whatever. Oh, when I mass work, I only got two legendaries, I think. Out of, I don't know how many hours I put into shit. But it's like the core gameplay alone, the flying around, it looks good. So yeah, you, we have something to hold on to because the gameplay is actually good. Right. At this point, instead of making the game polished all the way around with loot systems and fixing all the bugs, then releasing it, you're going to run out of bread. But if you get core gameplay and you got something to hold on to while we make the game better, look at For Honor, bro. That's a perfect example. You know how I was hyped about that game too. Yeah, when you were the first kid. I was the first remember, one hyped about it. When you first talked about it, you a couple of people, it, it were hurt. They were like, yeah. they were like, <laughs> but it's it's the thing that's like when it works, it's amazing. Yeah. But when it came out, it, it just didn't work. Sixty percent of the time, it didn't work, and yeah. that's not good. But when it worked, you're like, oh, I found a match. If you get right. excited because you found a match instead of like, oh, I'm killing it in this match, that's like, that's completely wrong. Right. So when I was playing for honor, I would say every fourth match, I would actually get a game. Otherwise, that we'll get into it and load up. And then we all get kicked out. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. and I dealt with that for like, fuck, I don't even know how long. I dealt that for a long time. But now the game is polished. It's good. But the problem with For Honor is that it took too long and, and people lost interest. And it's still like a really, like a core. I, I feel like. There's a core I, people honestly, that play it. I feel like people are starting to come back to it, bro. Like, I mean, I mean, because they're still coming up with characters. Right. But I mean, like, just, just hearing about it. But think it, if they already came up with the DLC. All the DLC right. at the launch, people wouldn't be coming back. They would have never left. No, they 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 would have left because the game didn't work. You feel me? Well, I mean, if we had all the if you yeah. had all the content, you're giving people then... now you're giving people reason to come back because you're still releasing content. Is what I'm saying. Where you get new characters, i.e. Tekken, i.e. Street Fighter, you get new characters. People that put the game down are gonna put it back in. And I see. I don't even like Street Fighter personally. It's just not my type of fighting game. Yeah. But I always pick it up still when they come out with somebody new and I spend a little money on it. I'm like, oh, the character's cool. And then I put it down again. But still, me plus I don't know how many other people picked it up and did the same thing. But for that week, two weeks, three weeks, they're cool again. You feel right, me? Right. That's what I'm saying. That When it comes to Anthem, like they're not releasing any paid DLC. But when they do a bug fix, because I gave up on Anthem for like a week and a half. And then they said, oh, we got an update. It made me come back. You know what I'm saying? Then I left again and I came back. So it's like, I get it. It's the ebb and flow of a gamer because when you have a game like Anthem compared to a Destiny, compared to a Division, right. it's a it's a harsh market. I feel that. And honestly, yeah. like, just to kind of really, before we kind of pull away from this, I just want to make this, just, just to kind of throw this out there too. And the reason why, personally, I don't like the whole, like, the whole game's coming out. Cause I get it while the whole <coughs> idea of, you know, you got to be eating our thing. It's because, like, I feel like, I have to buy like a different game and just to keep myself in the tank. Like mm-hmm. you said, you said because like for example, you mm-hmm. can easily go to a different game because you wouldn't bother the game. Yeah, yeah. It sucks for me as a person who mm-hmm. only can buy so much because yeah. it's like, no, I, get I gotta, it. I gotta sit here, and I gotta deal with it. So, so it. it's like, and like I said, it's it's not more of like oh, I'm, 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 it's just more yeah. of like it's when like I, was, I, was, I put my money on this. Where's my satisfaction? And, no, and, and, I get and, it. and honestly, it's it's not even and, 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 like I said, the game is not disappointing at all. The game, the game, like I said, I, mm-hmm. I like I said, the core gameplay is great. It's phenomenal. The flying, the hovering, mm-hmm. it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? I just love that Swedish. ideal aspect mm-hmm. of it. You know what I'm saying? And I can't wait for them to do more for it. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like just when it comes to like, and this is something I just wanted to kind of get into as well was that a lot of games these days are not focused on the story they used to be. And I only I only pointed out because th- 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 this, this this is th- this is this is how I feel about it. A lot of games that didn't focus on story and the focus on story, prime example, Call of Duty, for example. Yeah. They're starting to focus. I love the fact they're starting to focus on story. I, I, if anything, oh, wait, I, wait, Call of Duty Four, Black Ops Four. Call of Duty. I'm the Black Ops Four, but no story. I, the, la- the last thing I played mm-hmm. was uh, World War Two, and the Bro. whole and the whole <laughs> thing about no, let me finish. So yeah. the whole thing about that was the fact that um, they literally took a character, right? They just made. Uh, I always say characters in the game, whatever. But it, it made me feel more immersed because. Not only did you just have people that were in, in your group, you actually work with them. Like, hey, I need more ammo. Bam, he throws me ammo. I'm saying, hey, I need a med kit. I'm about to die. Boom, he gives me a med kit. So you you kind of get like a little type of connection with the characters besides the fact that you just, oh, I'm about to go run a gun. You know what I'm saying? So you felt a little bit more immersed in the yeah. story. Yeah. So I feel like, and then another one would be like UFC or NFL or oh. NBA. And, and the reason why I look at those is because like. Trash. 
<laughs> it's because like back then, like when you first played NBA, you just, oh, I'm, I'm going to be the Pacers. I'm going to be the, you know, right. the Pistons. I, that's it. That was it. Now it's like, oh, you get to be on, you get to pick your favorite team mm-hmm. you want to be on, you want to forward. Oh, I get to play with one of the greats. I never, I, I never got to have that experience. The fact that not everybody gets to be on the NBA, mm-hmm. but the fact that you get to go and have that moment and you have to play on your favorite team and be play that favorite player you want to be on with, whatever, y'all, even y'all bumping heads mm-hmm. or y'all just, you know, working together and doing whatever in the game, that's a great experience. And I feel like that's what a lot of other games are starting to lack at. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, like, for example, Titanfall, the first one, was fun, mm-hmm. but I feel like the story. Why were we there? You know what I'm saying. Stop. What are we fighting for? What, see, what, what is the and and and, 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 yeah. and the thing no. and, and and that's and I feel like everybody has their own opinion, but I feel like it's the whole purpose of why. It's like watching a movie. You know, why do I care? You know, and that, yeah, that's and, where we and, come on different and, ends because you're a movie guy. And and, and 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 it's not just about like the whole with movie aspect of it. Cause it, it it just goes deeper. Like as like if I'm gonna invest my time. Like, if I'm going to want to be immersive, yeah, it's about playing with friends and everything, mm-hmm. but I still want to have that. I still want to walk away and say, damn. You know, well, I, I, I know about this world. I know why this world exists. I know what's about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like, they're tired, dude, I'll just fly around and after them, and I'll just look at the artwork because that's a lot of stuff people yeah. don't appreciate because it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. The artwork is great. The graphic, the, all the bits, it's, it's, a, it's phenomenal. Well, here's my thing you know? on your story, though. Like The thing on the story is that, like, for example, let, 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 let's just bring up Anthem since it's a fresh game, okay? We're, we're freelancers. Why why do freelancers exist? Why do people want to become a freelancer? You know, what See, what, you what's right what's uh what's, get what's, what's what what is All that is in Anthem. All that you want yes, to know? But yes. here's my thing. Anthem's not going to they couldn't their main priority if the story if you really want to know the story of Anthem, they they did a Destiny and Dark Souls what they did. Not that. It's just there's tons of lore. There's tons of lore in the game, bro. There's so much lore in the game. Right. From getting collectibles, going to those different points, going to the menus. There's so much lore on Anthem. Yeah. They don't put the core story in there because, honestly, it's cheaper. So, <laughs> <laughs> But there's so much lore in Anthem. But when right. you're playing games like uh, um, uh, a loot and shoot, a dungeon crawler, uh, uh, NBA, like, fuck that story. Fuck that story, bro. If I want to hear like a really deep, compelling ass story, I'll pop an RPG in. Loot, loot shooters, grindy games, sports games. I don't need a story. Like if I want to watch a story and shit like that, I'll watch a movie. I want the gameplay to be focused on, and that that's difference in gamers, and that's yeah. that's good. Yeah. So if it's like if I'm playing a Call of Duty, I don't give a fuck about where this nigga came from. Where's the biggest gun I can shoot somebody's head off with? That's you know what I'm saying. That's my thing on Call of Duty. Right. Or the and same I, thing about Anthem. It's like I don't give a fuck about why I'm a freelancer. I just want to put the jetpack on, <laughs> right. slam into some shit. And right. but that's the difference in gamers because I'm not hopping on those games for the storyline. But a big difference is that like a fighter. I'll hop on fighters, not worried about a storyline except for MK11. That story is fucking amazing. Yeah. And, and and that's another problem, yeah. bro. Like yeah. that has a great multiplayer, right? Yeah. It has a great a great story. And, and and the thing about MK11 is the fact that like they've literally took it from the just straight arcade sense, you know, from Mortal Kombat One. From they've always generation. been, you know, it's funny. They've it's always, always been, been heavy. A story. It's, it's always, always been heavy on story. Yeah, yeah. And the thing about it, it's just more now since everything's more like three dimensional. And everything the graphics mm-hmm. are amazing mm-hmm. now. Now I can focus on that story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not I, just yeah, oh, I'm I gonna just, go. I'm, I'm gonna just go sock somebody up, rip his heart out, and just hold it up like I'm Kano or whatever. Yeah, it's I mean, it's he it's that. he does it, but I mean <laughs> it's it's more than just that now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There's purpose, and and I feel like the and I, I just feel like the fact that you can. Understand that world. You can relate to those characters. You can identify if you want to. Who can you relate to in Mortal Kombat? I'm pretty sure there's somebody you can relate to that you'd be cool like Sub Zero or, or I'm, I'm a badass like Scorpion or whatever. You want to be a demon? So, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Okay. okay fuck Who? It. Let me be that there, demon. None of those characters <laughs> are relatable. They're just dope ass characters. Well, I mean, everybody has their own story. Yeah. Absolutely. And I feel like, yeah. I feel like, and it comes But you can't to like, relate to not one of them damn stories. I feel like you possibly could. Boom. Like, I, give me one. I just want give, one. Give you one? Yeah. Who can you relate to? Honestly. In the Mortal Kombat. In the Mortal Kombat yes. world, I feel like I, I can kind of like identify as Luke Kane in a sense because right. I, I've, and the reason why I said is because he's worked hard. Right. And he's got deterred. The only difference is that like I didn't take all that pain and shit. Yeah, and you, then, you didn't and die. Then, yeah. You can't turn into a yeah. dragon. So, uh, 
Sadly, I can't do the dragon. I can't, I can't do that. Bro, if you could turn it to a dragon, we'd be best friends no forever. Fucks. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <that>? <laughs> go, go to the club. Right. I'm in for free. Nah, you yeah. went on the ledge and turned to a dragon. Yeah, you and Bliss, nigga. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> Just, all right. Black dragon over here. Everybody right. drinks so on let's, me. Let's move on. on. <laughs> let's move on from video games. I don't want to make the whole thing about video games. Even yeah. though, like you said, that's our love is video games. So what um, right. what we want to, what we plan on doing with this podcast is, of course, talking about some serious shit. Of course, talk about video games because that's our shit. Of course, tell jokes and just have. Um, I want to start having people on here. Maybe uh, we'll figure that out down the road. Yeah. Um, I want to start uh, having segments on here where we read uh, some shit that we're interested in, some shit that popped up. I want to start, um, you know, pretty much shamelessly plugging shit. If you got right. an event or something coming up that you want somebody or anyone to uh, come into, I'm also a member of IOTA Five Theta Fraternity Incorporated. So if I got some type of like community service coming up, I think we have a, a Easter barbecue coming up, okay, or yeah, something like that, and then we have like a few things popping up in the in the near future. I want to put that on here. I don't see why not. Um, I just want to. I mean, I'm having a good fucking time. It's, it's probably it's boring and shit to other people. Nah, but man, it's, I'm this having is, a good fucking time. This is like I said, man. Yeah. This is all about just two brothers on the boat, just having yeah. a good time, yeah. to break that normality, man. Just just fuck it. Want to have some laughs. Some jokes some and memories and just educate. You know what I'm saying? Educate. Yeah. Spread the word, bro. You talked about that? Yeah. I guess we're educating. Yeah. Because I mean, like, how many people? <laughs> how many? I feel like if anything, like, I feel like we're opening the minds. Oh well, I'm not fact checking anything I'm saying. Right. You know what I'm I mean, saying? I mean, some of the stuff I've, I've, I've actually fact checked. You know, and looked <clears> and did, and also just everybody has own opinion. You know yeah. What I'm Everybody's yeah. perspective. And I feel like just hearing what we got to say, you know what I'm saying? I like what open the minds up because guess what? Like the fact that we're saying is maybe, I should, maybe yeah. I should go look this up. Maybe I should check this up. Maybe I should go see what they're talking about. Maybe yeah. I should go do a little research and see what's up. Dropping dimes. You know, drop, dropping you know, knowledge, bro. <laughs> just, just, just dropping drop it. dimes. Yeah. Just, just. Um, so we got to get your brother on here. Yeah. I don't know. We got to do We can work that out. Yeah. Um, my brother will probably be on here sometime at some point, but he's he's a terrible person. Yeah. Love him to death, but he's a terrible <laughs> person. Um, I can say that he's my brother. Fuck you. Um, what else? Uh, shit, man. What did what did you plan for the rest of the day? Rest of the day, man. Mm. Literally was just like getting this edit finished. Like I'm yeah. gonna yeah. work on my uh, my I'm gonna project go I've been anthem. doing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, like right. I, <laughs> once I like get this set up, then I'm a hot. Bro, another thing, bro. We can get back on Smite, man. Smite. If you want, if you want to go on that, we can go. On no, that, I'm just saying, like, when, like, not because I'm planning. We need. No, no. You know what's just changed this Smite, man. I know, like, honestly, bro, it, it just like, like no, how how it usually man. works, man, is that like, if I do get an obviously you see me on that. Yeah. You see me on. That. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> but I, I mean, feel it. time is scarce. Like, 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 real, real estate, though. If if you want me to get on, like, Smite. Nah, it's only, I'm just, 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 uh, not because I'm on it. I'm just saying. I, like, I know, but I that's the only one I do play. I only play because my, you got the homies is on it. Yeah. I don't. I yeah. don't really go on Smite because I feel like I'm at a point where that gameplay you need teamwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, and me, like personally, I do like to play for fun. I like to play for fun when I'm with friends. I can have a good time and laugh. But if you I'm playing with with by myself, and, yeah. and I got people who are not communicating, people who don't know what they're doing, people yeah. who are just about themselves being stingy, greedy, it takes from the game. Yeah. You know, because there's yeah. no there's no work ethic. Everybody's mm-hmm. trying to be LeBron James. <laughs> like, no, everybody needs to be LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Leave LeBron out of this, man. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. That, that's, what I'm, that, that's what it is. And I yeah. feel like when I play with you guys, man, it's, it's huge. It's, yeah. it's different because it's like I know – where I can try to fit in that. I know yeah. where I can go. I know where you're going to be. Okay, let me come over here. I know I'll where, you fucking you know, up, though, man. It, hey, man, it I'll don't matter. Up. But it, yeah. it's the fact that we're having fun and we're experiencing it together and we're just enjoying ourselves. I like how positive you are, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah, a real man. positive dude. Yeah. Try like, I need, I need, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck took. No, but, uh, yeah, you're a positive dude. I like that shit. Me, on the other hand, I'm just like, you know, Fuck it. Yeah, but I mean, it just more, it just took me. Honestly, I've always been positive. It's just more. I just been hard on myself. Yeah, I've right. always been only only the person. I've honestly been only the thing in the person I've been not getting to has always been me, and I'm just I'm done. I'm Here's done. my thing, bro. Like I know you bleed just like I bleed. Yeah. Just like anyone else bleeds unless they're not a human. Yeah. And we're all gonna fucking die. So it's like, take it with a grain of salt. Be like uh, Rick and Morty. Niggas have uh, bad days, bro. Said nobody was. Uh, everybody was just here. Nobody's yeah. important. Nobody's important. Yeah, everybody's yeah. gonna die. That's, <laughs> it. that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's what it. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> that's it. Everybody's here. Nobody's and important. Everybody's gonna die. Like, like you just... may do some shit, but like when you're gone, like unfortunate, you know. And people wanna, yeah. Everyone's scared of the end, man. 
You know, yeah. everyone's scared of the end. Yeah, because no one knows. Yeah. They kiss the unknown. No one yeah. knows what's there. That's P- the problem. People say they know, but no one knows. No, it is what it is. Um, Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't say. I'm not them. But I, I, if they I know, mean, I if they t- they know the end. What's, what, when does it start? When's the end start? How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when it starts. Yeah. But I mean, I just feel like it's whatever. You feel me? Like everything's beautiful, man. Hell yeah. It's everything's it's just whatever. Like even when you have a bad day, those bad days are good because like you'll never appreciate a good day unless you had a bad, you had a bad day. Straight up. That's I, that's I, it. I'm so. Fine. When I'm pissed off or whatever like that, it's like, ah, oh, this is going to be a real good one. It's almost like eating a burrito, and it's fucking delicious. Yeah. You're like, God damn, I'm going to have to take a massive shit later. That's going to be a good shit, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, delicious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so after, after you feel terrible after eating that massive burrito, do you take that massive shit? You're like, oh, it was worth it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, I mean, that's how I look at it. I don't plan on really much doing shit. I'm off of work, so I'm about to enjoy this. Uh, play some video games. Just enjoy the day off, man, for sure. Right. But I just like know, like I said, once I, once I get this edit, this edit done for this, like I will definitely get on some answer for sure. I mean, whatever, like, bro. I ain't see. pressing you. I, ain't, I don't think oh, I'm going to bed anytime no. soon. Oh, you're good. Probably going to masturbate twice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're good. <laughs> Probably going to masturbate but, twice. Probably going to eat something. Hey, and, you know, get, just get, going. I got to get that the afternoon. I'm going to get out. You know what I'm saying? But morning, moon, it's like, it's like eating. Yeah. Morning, so noon, routine, routine, and bro. dinner. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it. I feel it. You so much stress when you don't do it. You never had one of those? Uh, just had like a really stressful, stressful day, day, and you're just like pow, and you're yeah. like, you know what? I feel yeah. better. You know, I found out that's probably not true, but it's worked for me the last three times. Every time I get sick, get that stuff out of you, I feel better the next morning. I don't know if I'm just sick of life or no. Sick of the, I, I mean, I mean, they, they say <clears throat> that like they say like, and, like, and that's something I actually looked up at one point. Do they, they look up masturbating? Yeah, All I right. did. And, and, <laughs> I, and honestly, like it, what what it said is that like if you do it, it's it's healthy to do it normally yeah. because it actually increases it boosts your immune system. Really? Yeah, it really does. Seriously, and I'm that's not joking. I'm, 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 I'm not joking. Year. Like, yeah, nice. and it's like it's yeah. when you don't. That's when you just you may have a chance, increased chance of like so Damn. when regular, you know. Actually helps you out in a way. Would you read this? Like, like that just on it. I, I just Google it, bro. I just, I just, just Google. It was years ago. I was like, I wasn't doing shit. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I was just like masturbating. I'm like, cause I was cause <laughs> so I, instead of just masturbating. Cause like, cause, cause like, cause I was like, I'm pretty sure you had this question. Like, and you may, you may have done it, but I always thought to myself, like, what, what's a, what do you consider too much time masturbating? What's, Never considered what's, that. What's, what's, I've considered it. And I was like, you know what, let me do some research. Well, bro, how look much masturbating were you doing think like, damn, this is too much? <laughs> it's just, it's like, I... <laughs> what? You know, no comment? <laughs> just no comment, bro. Fifth time to this, just, like, I need just, help. <laughs> all I can say is that w- w- when that time was going on, I was in it for the long haul, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I was, I, I don't know, bro. I, I, Excuse I, was, me. I was just... Going in motion, bro. Yeah, I don't man. know what it was. I was I like, fuck it. Situation. And then just, I was like, you know, is this normal? So I just Googled it. I was like, fuck it. Fuck you know? that. And then I, and I like, just... I have a lot of heavy shit on my head, and then I masturbate, and nothing else bad. Yeah, and like... ma- masturbating and smoking weed is pretty pretty on the same lines of that feeling afterwards. You're yeah. just like, fuck it. Yeah, you're chilling, bro. That's Whatever. it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I get so lazy sometimes. Like, I'm not even clean up. Just hop in the shower. And hopefully it washes off of me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting there later at work or something like, ah, oh, shit, it's still in my head. We've all had those days. <laughs> you know, shake his hand. We all had those days. Like, oh, fuck, it's still there. What is this? Oh, toothpaste. Take a toothpaste. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just toothpaste. It's just toothpaste. I'm clean. It's good. You know, it's another part that's crazy about that. Like, when you say something to the homies or whatever, they're probably just masturbated. And for everybody shaking hands out there with the homies, you probably just shook your homie's hand and got done masturbating. Yeah. That's yeah. My, that's crazy. We said what's up today earlier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. No, 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 no. I didn't have time. We were playing Anthem too much. And then I got off. I was like, do I got time to masturbate? Take a shower. Masturbate. Take a shower. Get a shower. <laughs> masturbate in the shower? I, I don't know. I'm not. You know what? Another thing, man. Uh, to keep the masturbation conversation going, that's weird, I guess. No, no. Is that I can't just ma- like I need some sh- I need some shit. I can't. I don't know if I'm like broken, but I can't just be in the shower like time to masturbate and be good. It's not gonna work for me like yeah. that. I'm a weirdo. No, you gotta be in the mood for that shit, man. That's, that's one in the thing. shower though. I feel like like it's like I'm jealous of girls in that situation. Yeah, because they masturbate. Like, I think I think that's one of the main spots girls masturbate is in the shower. Once again, just no fact checking. 
I don't know. I guess that's my opinion. Yeah. Because some people... A lot of these girl products are, like, waterproof. I don't think it's for squirting. It could be. <laughs> might have to Google some shit, bro. Might have to Google some shit. <laughs> just be like... Where do women masturbate the most? <laughs> just straight as... Terrible. Uh, but, but damn. I don't know. But I, I feel like... I guess it really just opinion. It's like some people would use lotion. I didn't I didn't see why people... I'm a dry jacker, lotion. man. Yeah, I, I'm, a dry, I can't I'm a dry jacker. Use lotion. It's fucking weird. That's, that, to me, Using is lotion weird. is weird? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like... I don't like that. It's, it's like... That's, no, too much rubber, bro. I, was too, I, was like, I don't know. It, like, apparently, like, it, it smooths out the friction. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, yeah. I just feel like from from having that, I think, I think uh, just to have the actual experience afterward, be with a female, whatever, and everything. Like, I was disappointed. I was like, I was, I was like, yeah, wait, not no. On, like, let me let me explain. So so okay. I I was, I was talking with the lotion. I just put on the lotion. I was like, this, this right. is this is nothing compared to what this is. Oh yeah, definitely not. Nothing. I was like, what the. Bro, okay, I was I confused. Did, I thought I you know, said the, the way first. I said it. I yeah, it. <laughs> okay, but I get you though. When you get some well, I, some good snatch, and, bro, and you move on to like Henrietta. The first thing I did working. when I went yeah. home, bro, I, I went and grabbed a lotion. I threw that bitch. I was like, "Fuck this shit." So wait, you got some pussy? And then, I went home. And then you masturbated. Oh no, you were masturbating I, with lotion first. No, yeah, lotion first, and then I and then you got on, pussy. Went, yeah, and you're like, this lotion that does same nothing day, for me. Saying that I went home, you could have just used it for your ankles or something, bro. You didn't have to throw it away, bro. You fucked the whole lotion. Fuck it. Right. I was like, hey, fuck that that's shit. how you feel. Maybe like, you're nah. using the wrong lotions. Was nah. it swab? Uh, don't use swab. Niggas don't use swab. Uh, it was uh, sh- Vaseline lotion. Vaseline lotion? Bro, yeah. that is not for masturbating. Yeah. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> Knowledge. The, exactly. The more you know, bro, that's it. I don't, yeah, but I definitely don't. I mean, if anything, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, that's just kind of weird. I'm not going to give you tips on masturbating. Yeah. Cause that, <laughs> because if you go home and do it, like, bro, that one trick you taught me, it worked. Like, shake yeah. my hand, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. So I'm going to just let you, you figured it out. You get there, I guess. I was, I was thinking that one time you were telling me how that one guy you had, you told one of your friends. Oh, about, about masturbating upside down? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Bro, like, that shit was hilarious. Yeah. He that believed shit. it. <laughs> he was he like, ah. <laughs> You got to say it with the confidence, though. It's like, that's because you're not masturbating upside down. He was like, what? I was like, yeah, bro, you just got it. You've never masturbated upside down? He's like, no. I was like, all right, man, you need to grow up. You know what I'm saying? You throw <laughs> one of those out there? Time to be a man. Time to be a man. Hey, man. Rest of my bed. What the fuck? Yeah, right, so right. I guess <laughs> I'm going to say, like, fuck, it had to be like two, maybe three months down the road. Yeah. And um, masturbating came up again, just like it just came up now for randomly. And he was like, yeah, man, it's cool and all, but I just hate the cleanup. Like, like I'm like, what are you, hey. <laughs> what are you talking about? He was like, the cleanup. I was like, well, yeah, cleanup masturbation. Dude goo is always, <laughs> <laughs> it's always hard to clean up dude goo. It's there, It's always dissatisfying. You what are you talking about? I call it dude goo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was like, man. it's always dissatisfying. What are you talking about? He was like, you know, like, when it gets on your face and stuff. I said, <laughs> I've never had cum on my face, bro. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. He was like, yeah, when you do it upside down. I'm like, and it clicked like, bro. This nigga started masturbating upside down. First of all, I'm impressed. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, did you start there and take finish a lot there? of work, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? You had to work on your you balance like crazy. Shit, yeah. Yeah, what yeah, are you doing? Just... What are you watching? Is there a pillow there? Is your neck on the. I don't know what the, the case is, but apparently this dude's been coming on his face for like the last three months. Yeah. And, um. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, if it helps to clear up his acne, I mean, if it helps. So if you. Bro, do have acne I, I issues, feel like that's a good question. Would. Technically, it wouldn't be because it's his. It's his, it's his own. Is it? You can say is it gay? Yeah. It's, it's no, it's his definitely own. not gay. Gay, gay is just only like if you gotta like the male sex. So you can be straight, and put things up your ass. I don't think it's a very straight thing to do, but like if you like things up your ass, that's cool, bro. I'm not putting it there, so do what you, you do. Yeah. But if you do like your own semen in your face, I don't think it's gay. I just think like it's unorthodox. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. <laughs> I you don't know what I'm saying? Know. It changes a lot. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know. Like, if someone's like, yeah, every time I'm better, just... Like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being kind of what that did. Oh, wait a minute. It'd be just upside down, but... Yeah, but uh, I guess, like, he's getting it in, like, you know, you squirt the lotion bottle. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that if that like, consists of like, it. It's funny because I thought about that. I was like, bro, like, do you stop or you you because you finish it right? Do you right. Keep going. Or you just because like you normally know, <laughs> when I'm done, I don't know if it's you. I'm just not like oh, pop up to it and get on right. my day. I'm kind of like ah, take a breather. Yeah. So my thing is like, <laughs> if you're sitting, <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> you know, if you sit there like you can you come in your face, right. you're gonna sit there and take that breather like ah, oh, that was a good one. <laughs> 
<sighs> Time to get up and wash this stuff off my face. I feel like, I mean, if they, he was a changed man, probably. I feel like he I, had to I be. think things really got real for him because at some point, I know maybe not the first time, <laughs> maybe not the third time, but it got in his mouth. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. I believe him. I don't I think it like, happened every time. I feel like, if anything, at one point he didn't think about it, he yeah. forgot. He was kind of like, ah, oh, oh. It's <laughs> just like, that's all bad, that, bro. Yeah, so, oh, or, man. or, God forbid, got it in his eye. Yeah, what would be worse, the mouth or the eye? Uh, I, I, I I don't, I don't know. I don't know it, how to answer it, it that. It burns I, or it tastes. Well, anything. I heard it burns. I don't know. I can't speak of. A... <laughs> <laughs> so, what, I can't speak of. Uh, pick, yeah, pick pick one. Like you uh, I don't just know. just remember, uh, like if you taste some nasty, you you it might just trigger. You might. Think well, here's about the thing, though. Mouth. Here's the thing. There's there's the fucking kicker, right? Gets in your mouth, doesn't taste bad. Now you really gotta start thinking about. It. That's a plot twist, like a motherfucker. Yeah. That's a plot twist, like a yeah. motherfucker. You're like, oh, honey grams. What? what? <laughs> so that's probably the word. Yeah, he's probably going through a lot right yeah, now. Man. Hopefully, he never hears a podcast. So <clears throat> we gonna send it to him, right? <laughs> Just Come in your face. <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name, though. but still, <laughs> Just like, go heads, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, were your legs straight up? Were they? I'm saying what he, like kind of because I'm thinking like they're the couch, kind of like bent cause his leg because yeah. the couch right here he's like the, the seat the back part where you sit right right here and right shit, and he's like like his legs are just hanging over the I don't know if the, I've, I always see it as like he's against the wall or something that's what I'm saying like he's like, like, like yeah, straight yeah, up yeah, you know what I'm saying like, yeah because you can't really if it's a, the couch against yeah. the wall he can't lay his legs down like he has to have it yeah damn that's wild that's crazy it's too many questions he's too rabbit many. hole and at this point at this point the fucking rabbit hole at this point I couldn't even. I didn't want to ask him more questions, you know? Like, I didn't tell him I never... You know what? I never told him I didn't do it. I probably feel like you shouldn't tell him. Well, at this point, it's been, like, three, four years. Yeah. If he's been masturbating <laughs> upside down for three, four years, this is what you do now. You can't go back. You can't go back to regular masturbating. Nothing. He on he that can. drink, bro. Nothing was the same. Nothing was, <laughs> was the same, bro. And he said, he, he said it was better, but... I like my masturbation sessions enough not to change. Like, if someone has to give you tips on <laughs> masturbating, you take it. Like, I don't know. That that part where you said it was better, that I'm stuck right there. I was right. Like, I was like, what part? I was like, is, is not it not the end? I hope. Like, I know, right? I was, I was, <laughs> what part? That's like that's like a dude getting his booty hole licking, liking it. Like, I'm just never gonna go down that road. All I'm saying is that just don't just put your name on your cup. <laughs> that's it. This is dope. <laughs> he come over. That's the so and so's cup. That's it. That's the same cup. We got plastic cups, we bro. Go, we go, Write we your go name get, on it. We go get, or he just give him a special, a special mug, whatever. He gets special about, You just don't drink at my just, house. You got to bring water <laughs> bottles with you that's it. when you come. I oh, drink man. Elhead, so he's going to have to drink like the uh, sign or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's wild. But I haven't even seen dude in like a year or so. Yeah. I haven't even been in contact with him. But that's crazy if he had. Because after he said that, I was kind of just like, oh, I know what you're talking about. The cleanup is bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I just kind of let it go. And in my head, I'm like, this nigga be coming on his face. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. That's fucking crazy. That is, that's hilarious, man. That's funny. That's, I want to hit dude up now. That's a prank, bro. But it's like, it's been a year and I can't hit up dude. like, hey, man, I was masturbating. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's, no, there's no way to go into it. But what if his face uh, is like super clear? See, there's too much. I'm thinking too much into this. I'm thinking way too much. Oh, trying to go the rabbit hole, man. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if, if I tell a dude that I'd never done it before, he he deserves to punch me in the face. But then again, it's like I never made you come on your face. Yeah, bro. you did like, put a gun in there. You said, "Hey, you gonna do this?" You went home. By <laughs> you yourself. gonna do this to your face? You, you went home by yourself. <laughs> it's old free no one will. told you to wash that shit. Because <laughs> you use love like regular people. Here, you owe nothing to yourself. So yeah, gotta live with it, bro. <laughs> gotta live with that shit at that point. It. That's on you, man. That's oh, definitely man. on you. Oh, that's fucking hilarious.